you took the 100 best, I believe 25 are Italians. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a time during your, your, while you were playing for Juve that maybe you wanted to go to another league or had an opportunity to go to another league that, you know, maybe would have been more exciting to get more goals because it was more difficult to play in Italy. Was there ever yeah. a chance that you almost left Juve? Oh, there, there was, a, yeah, there's a chance that happened uh, at some point in 2006. Uh, because you, you uh, won the World Cup? Before the World okay. Cup, before the World Cup, because we were, uh, was kind of a situation really not easy. And, what, uh, was that the betting scandal situation? Yeah, Juve got relegated. I was the captain at that time. That's even more reason to leave, isn't it? Did your salary get chopped? Yes. But no, I felt completely different. I, I felt to stay. I mean, when the owner called me and say, don't need to ask me, I'm going to stay. Um, I know what's going on. I know that we're going to get relegated, maybe third division. At the beginning was third division. And uh, I said, oh, I don't care. I mean, we won everything, and we're going to come back to win everything again. But you're captain now, right? This happens. I was captain, yes. A lot of players do leave, though. Yeah. How, how difficult was we that for you? Stay, we, I stay, Fon, Camaronesi, Trezeguet, and Nedved. And Chiellini stay as well. Okay. But I was very young, Chiellini. Yeah. Tu tu Turam left, right? Yeah, a lot of players. Yeah. Turam, Cannavaro. But I don't... You, you, you weren't I angry. I don't think they did the, the wrong choice. I mean, it's very difficult to make a decision in that kind of situation. It's a unique situation, never happened before. And some of them play with us one, two years. So it's not in a long relationship. There's different vibes. Yeah. And so uh, I was happy to who stayed. Yeah. Uh, Were you happy to stay or you felt like it was a duty to stay? Uh, I say both. Definitely I stay as a duty because I don't want to leave the club in that status. Worse than, you don't want to leave it worse than when you found yeah. it. Yeah. If you go to leave, you want it to be in, in better or in, back to where it was. Well, of course. Um, that time I was 32, won the World Cup. I think some teams <laughs> kind of <Yeah>. get me. <laughs> but uh, no, I think the duty, of course, and I think, and I feel also that I have to stay. I have to show something to myself, to my people, to my fans, to my club. Why? C because you had no fault in that, so why do you have to prove something? Do you know what I because mean? Because it's something that you have inside. You did it for the supporters. It's, it's, it's like a, part it's of a, you. It's a feeling inside. I mean, it's like uh, to be a fan of one team or the other ones. Hmm. Did they build I mean, you a statue yet? What? Did they build you a statue yet? No, no. We are, Juventus Stadium have different things different images of players. But no statue. But no statue. Ah, they, they gotta be, they gotta build you a statue. So, Serie B, talk us through that time, your, um, your first game, your first match. What was that experience? Oh, it was out of control. I mean, because we, we've been to the first game was uh, in the in the coast of Italy, where we used to have uh, the best parties. Rimini, Riccione, all that coast is amazing for that. Okay, so it was still summer, so 35 degrees and, and it's hot, and we, we jump in instead against Rimini, Rimini Juventus, and we draw one one. And when I, I remember when I walk inside the field, I have these thoughts in my mind. So one month ago. I walk out from Berlin Stadium in Germany with the World Cup, and now I'm here because I made that decision, okay, and I take full responsibility, and I'm for real in, in second division. I started with Mano 17. Mm. So we went to the full stadium, of course, because every game for us was like a, you know, like a, like a tour, you know. We never play, used, used to never play with against these teams. Full stadium, everybody without shirt because of the heat, and then the smell of piadina. I don't know if you know what is piadina. Piadina is a, it's, it's a typical from the area. It's amazing, it's so tasty. 
and the, it's a flat bread with the ham, and then you can put mozzarella or stracciatella. So kind of like that hot dog that we made you eat earlier. <laughs> 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 Ten step further and better. I'm sorry. So, and uh, that smell is sticking our, you know, when it was a, like a friendly game for, mm -hmm. you know, that the feeling, you know, with the band that we're singing and <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> And then we drew one one, we almost lost, lost. And I say, well, we are for real in second division. We are for real in second division. Did that and whole experience feel humbling? The whole experience was uh, unreal. It was because we had a battle outside the field with what's going on. Our lawyers you know, try to you know, make understand that you cannot have a relegation and minus 17 is a lot points, so they tried to make uh, close the gap. And we started the field and we drew. So minus 17, you move the standing and the standing of the table. Minus 16. Minus 16. Oh, that's crazy. And, and the other team said three, 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 one. So it was a long way to go. And but at the end of the year was beautiful. Did you feel like it affected the way you were seen personally or treated personally because you were so representative of the club, right? And yeah. there was so much anger towards the club for what had happened. Yeah. Did it affect the way people treated you? Of course, because I was the captain. I was the person more representable, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. on, on the team in that time uh, because I played longer than anybody else, of course. And, and yeah, that anger that was hunger was hate against the team was consolidated because of what happened. You know, oh yeah, we're so right. You make some mistakes and now you mm. go back is bad, good for you, bad for us. But then at some point swift and, and, and of course increase the relationship between us and me with our fans. Mm. And in that, that season we have more membership than the season before. And mm. it's crazy. Uh, and so it's, it's, a, it's a different journey and nobody can expect something like this. It's, everything was super new and a new, a new club because we changed everybody in the club and, and new coach, almost half, more than half of the team knew. Actually, Juve was represented by a lot of players in that World Cup final. Yeah. Let's talk about that World Cup final. Let's talk about that. So, so finally. So <laughs> Zidane, right? You do you have a really good relationship with him yeah. while he was at Juve? Yeah. That happens. What, what was your reaction? We're talking yeah. about the headbutt. The headbutt, Matarazzi headbutt. What was my reaction? Yeah. Were you like, because I, I know in a game as a striker and the opposition, one of their best players was red card. Well done. No, I mean, we had a, the thing is the ball is, was over on the other place and I was running through that. And then the whistle and then you see what's going on, Buffon starts screaming and move hands because the only player that saw something was Buffon. Mm. The other one was looking into the ball and Zidane and Materazzi was behind us. So I saw Materazzi on the floor and I say, what's going on? Talk is he's touching his yeah. chest and so. Yeah. It's supposed to be the opposite, in my mind, you know? 